but don't <laughs> worry it's not that controversial so it's up okay. to you how will you respond to my questions okay? okay so we wanted to know more about you and we wanted to know kinsa si sir dinko behind his public figure <laughs> char okay, okay how are you i'm okay okay I'm okay so how, thanks how are you feeling today uh tired i'm a bit tired kay naagikan na, ko meeting sa santa maria niya na ata gitre karon sa malita so ang byahe Yeah, gutom pa jud. So, pero okay lang laban lang. Okay, that's good. Laban lang jud ta. Okay, lang. so what were you doing prior to this interview? Uh, moto na uh, nag-meeting ko sa uh, sa mga tao dito sa Santa Maria, sa mga constituents, mga associations about how to tackle the upcoming elections and all that. So, yeah. Can I start with my questions? Yeah. Okay, so what do you find yourself doing a lot this day? A lot. Uh, uh, I spend a lot of time talking, talking not just. To who? Uh, mostly, uh, actually, I, I mostly listen from because being young and in, involved in the world of politics, there are so many, there's so much more experienced and uh, seasoned politicians and leaders that I have yet to learn from. No. Uh, me being me being young, I feel like I'm a sponge, just absorbing all the information and all the all the lessons that they try to teach me. And also, I guess in a way, I talk more, especially to the youth, uh, sports-wise, um, uh, youth federation-wise, about future planning, uh, especially in the development of sports and the development of. Uh, Of like these school projects also, yeah. Yes. So that's that's basically what I do these days. Sir, besides from doing public service to people, what do you do on your days off? Uh, on my days off, I, I go to Davao, watch over my dogs. I try to get involved in physical activities such as basketball. I try to go to the gym more often because it's uh, usually on my days off is time where I have time for myself. And those days are far and few between. Because even on my days off, uh, people still come to me. People still talk to me. And being involved in public service, I have that responsibility. And it's also my due diligence to respond or to uh, talk to my constituents. Not even just constituents. Even just future business partners and partners in general. Shout out. Okay, out of all the hobbies in the world, what's one hobby you'll never give up? Basketball. For sure, basketball. Not in the sense na I play basketball because as much as possible, I try to make time to play basketball. Out of all the questions that I prepare, this is probably the most difficult to ask. Just so you know, people are really dying to know about this. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Single or taken? Single. Really? Single, single. <laughs> okay. Shout out to all the single ladies. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, 100% sure I am okay, single. Okay, so you're single. Baka later may iiyak ha. Okay. As of recording ha, as of recording, single. <laughs> April 1. Single pa ko. <laughs> Okay, how would you describe yourself in three words? Uh, three words. One, family-oriented. 
two, kind, and three, generous. I think a lot of people can attest that these these are the top three traits that really define me. Unsaman ang isa kabutang nga dalit ka maanoy? For me, dalit na ko yung kumaanoy ka ng sa mga tao na kung magtabang sila o niya, ipost for the sake na they could post it on social media. It doesn't come off as very genuine to Loy. So that really annoys me. It's not, it's a... It's an insult to service in itself. Now you're supposed when you do service, you're supposed to do service wholeheartedly, without expecting anything in return, and that's what I always believe in. It's very uso nowadays, actually. Yes. Okay, so what scares you the most? Scares me the most. Uh, very trivial, but blood, blood, blood scares me a lot, especially uh, human blood. I uh, know only human blood. Human blood scares me because it's a, it's a logic na human blood. Human blood belongs inside the body, diba? Tapos di rin animo makita sa gawas. So kung makita na ako sa gawas mo, it's very unnatural. It's a very unnatural state of blood to be outside of the body. So oh na, my there's a time na murag inakwaan ko dugo. Because I can just see the vial of blood, mga puno lang. So murag ako na murag apil ko kamatunon or apil ko na himatay ba? Just because I see blood outside of my body. So murag yan na lang. Sir Dinko, Crocs or rubber shoes? Crocs! Crocs! <laughs> Sponsor me! <laughs> Sponsor me! Crocs! Okay, so what's the best song you always listen to? Uh, best song I always listen to... Uh, depends on my mood. Especially when I go around, when I travel, or when I before playing basketball, I listen to a, lit, uh, a lot of hip-hop. I listen to a lot of rap. Um, but nowadays, I listen to... What do I listen to nowadays? I barely listen to music nowadays. I, I usually listen to podcasts. I, I spend most of my time listening to podcasts or meditation, uh, audio, stuff like that. But yeah, R&B, hip-hop, rap music. So what's your favorite food to eat? Fried chicken. Wow, fried chicken. Fried chicken. No hesitation, fried chicken. <laughs> What's your least favorite food to eat? Least favorite food? Um, actually, I would like to pick up I would eat anything. I would always try something. I would try everything once. That's always my thing. I never would close my doors on seeing if I don't like a food or not. But if I had to choose, so your blue cheese. Blue cheese. I hate blue cheese. Yeah. Okay, so got to think of this really hard. What's your first memory in life? First memory in yeah. life? Yeah, what's the first memory in life? First memory in life. Wow. Or first I mean, best memory in life? First best memory in life. Deep lagi ni kalit. So, my best, my first best memory in life. I don't think. I think I didn't need best, but the number one thing that I remember when I was five years old, six years old, ago, uh, I was sleeping in my mom's, uh, in my parents' room when I was a kid. So I was sleeping beside my mom, and I don't know what time it was. It was 4, 4 a.m., 3 a.m. So when I was sleeping, I saw this white figure standing on my bed. Uh, uh, kung, like in front of my bed where, where me and my mom slept so and that figure I couldn't move and that figure just crawled up on me yeah so I woke up I woke up I ran outside and uh, I got the monoblock chair kanong plastic na chair ba yun ay nilingkod lang ako niya dyan ako nagtulog dyan ako natulog so nakakayan nakakayan na lang ako like, this is like Six years old, seven years old, I think. That's my I guess earliest. It's not number. a best memory for you. Un yeah. Unforgettable moment. Yeah, it's not the best, but it's. I would never forget about that. Okay. I remember it so clear. Thank you for sharing that to us. So, who do you look up into most in life? My dad, most absolutely my dad. For me, for me, everybody keeps asking me. I don't want to go into politics, but everybody keeps asking me. Oh, kinsa mong presidente? I was like, "Ambut, basta kung madagan ako pa ako presidente siya kung butohon." I'd always, I'd always vote for my dad. I'd always be my dad's number one fan. 
So yeah, definitely my dad. Okay, so what's the best advice you received from your parents? It's, it's more of a series of lessons that tie into together. So uh, always share your blessings. That's number one. It's super, it's really vague to say to share my blessings, but sharing your blessings, just it's not this one-time thing. Uh, you'd, you'd feel that when you share your blessings, you'd feel that all across from months to years, people don't forget if you've helped them. And just like being in public service, there's a couple of people that I've met along the way and I don't know. I don't know But when they look at when they see me, they always approach me. And they be like, Oh, my papa, you're so big, you're so big. I was like, wow, that gratitude really, it's so transparent that it even crosses generation to generation. And even more than the big one, the big one, the big one, Ang gratitude, ang level of gratitude and respect. Murag, may inherit na nako ba? So, definitely sharing my blessings is the number one lesson I learned from my parents. Okay, thank you. So, where do you see yourself after six years? Six years. You oh. might be in politics or marrying <laughs> someone. I'm in I'm in public service now, so uh, most likely I'd still be in public service after six years. Still single. So again, shout out to all the oh, single you can ladies. Never tell. Shout out to the single ladies. You can never Six tell. years from now. <laughs> you can Six never years from tell. now. Okay, Igon Sakung Fung Sui Master, and uh, I'd get married at the age of 33. So, 25 plus 6, 31. So, you might be in a relationship after six years. Single. Not married. <laughs> single lady, shout out. Okay, so what TV shows have you binged? watch this day? Uh, TV shows, I really don't watch TV shows anymore. Uh, probably the last time I binge, binge watch a TV show, probably was last year. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of watching K-drama. Probably anime na lang siguro ang number one thing na gonna watch na ako. The, the most recent anime I probably watched was um, Attack on Titan. So, do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents? Yeah. Uh, Mau gani hidden, no? Well, you'll you never know. Us. You'll never know. Fans out there, you'll never know. Mau nagi nila na hidden talent. After this interview, we cannot call it as a hidden talent. Exactly. So, so, you can share it with us. Hidden talent siya for a reason. Give me three Let's shots feel. of tequila and I'll show you all my hidden talents. No, Let's I'm kidding. Feel. Why not? You can show it. Are you? I don't have I don't have any hidden talents. Oh, really? I don't have any hidden talents. Okay, so what's one thing people would be most surprised to know about you? Most surprised yeah. about me? That it might be your hidden talent. That I'm single. <laughs> Link single ladies. Shout out to you. Parang bitter, That's that's the thing. The people always think that oh, I'm dating somebody or no, we have all ways, but yes. Surprise, surprise, I'm single. <laughs> okay, so in your life, if your life were a song, what would the title be? Um, if my life were a song? Hmm. This is an ode to my beautiful sister, uh, Dabi. Um, Lovely Day by Bill Withers. Uh, every time I hear that song, I, it just makes me... Uh, feel happy and I always try to look at the bright th brighter things in life. So if you had to choose another career, what would you be doing? Um, another passion I have is cooking. So most likely I would I would um, be a chef or probably run a restaurant. But that's for, for me, uh, there's so much there's so much uh, innovation, there's so much creativity. There's so much um, passion in my mind that I don't think cooking is a is the perfect medium of how I want to express that. So definitely public service is something that not only would I help myself, but definitely help a lot of people along the way. So yeah. So what do you prefer to wear every day? This, for those who don't know, for those who know me or for those who uh, who are my friends. This is not what I wear every day, for sure. This is the first time I've worn a watch in a long time. Worn pants in a long time. So I would usually wear an oversized shirt, 
probably some shorts and Crocs. Again, shout out to Crocs, sponsor me. <laughs> okay, so what pets do you have? Can you please name them? Uh, I have two pets right now in Davao. Uh, they're both Alaskan Malamutes. One's a, uh, one's a boy. He's currently, he's, uh, he's almost turning two. He's almost turning two. His name is Bean, so most likely now picture it's a screen. So can you tell us a secret? A secret? Yeah. Sana man, ginalaglag naman na ikaw diri. Sa may first hidden talent, karon kay secret. more about you. So maybe you can share us some uh, secret. A secret that I always share to people. Because I used to have long hair before. Wow. I used to have very long hair before. But don't shampoo every day. Why? That's all I have to say. Don't shampoo every day. It doesn't, it doesn't make your hair healthy. Yeah, so I try to shampoo every, every two to three days. Keeps the hair healthy. <laughs> Shampoo sponsors? No, no. Okay, thank you so much. I'm actually done with the what? questions. But, 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 before we'll end this interview, um, <clears throat> what piece of advice you can give to the youth today? Oh, uh, one piece of advice I could give to youth today. And I say this wholeheartedly because I'm currently involved in public service. But don't be scared to dream. Always dream. Uh, for me, being in public service, I realize how much, how many dreams already have died, uh, especially if they're not being supported. So I want to be that steward for change. I want to be. In, I want to encourage kids to dream because I want to be a part of those dreams becoming reality. Being part of public service. Thank you so much. Again, thank you so much, thank Sir Diego, you. for being here with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much shout out. Sure. Okay, shout out to the single ladies who are watching this today. You're single. I'm single, huh? Ready to mingle? Ready to mingle, <laughs> I think. Maybe after this video, we can find someone for you. Maybe. Maybe.